Hi guys, we're going to do a few things today. First thing you're going to see is a video of Georgia O'Keeffe in her hills place. Um, she shows you kind of walking around what she would do when she would paint and how she would paint. Then you're going to watch a video of Tate Kids. Tate is a museum in England and it's a bunch of kids walking around a Georgia O'Keeffe exhibit kind of just looking at her artwork. And then we're going to color in these flowers together. What is it I like about it? Well, if you could see it, if it wasn't white, you'd see it. I mean, if, if it wasn't white, half white with snow, it's, it's, uh, oh, it's a specially fine place to climb around it. Have you climbed over these? these oh, hills? certainly. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Wouldn't you climb if you were here? I've walked all along the top. I've been here in all kinds of weather. I've worked out here in the wind when the wind blew so that if I got off my chair, it would blow away. I don't know how I kept my picture on the easel, but I've painted out here when it was very windy. On the other side, there's a strip of color. You don't see it because it's in shadow now, but there's a strip of pink, red, and yellow that goes all along over a very long way that I've put in at the foot of my hill, the cliffs over there. You look at it and it's almost painted for you, you think, until you try. I tried to paint what I saw. I thought someone could tell me how to paint a landscape, but I never found that person. <laughs> I had to just settle down and try. I thought someone could tell me how, but I found nobody could. They could tell you how they painted their landscape, but they couldn't tell me to paint mine. She used color like to add in the emotion that you might feel when you look at a flower and to help you understand what she was feeling like. She was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint to show people what like, a beautiful world is and like how nature can really change your life and how pretty it is. The lamp is like me, and then the light around me, like the sun. It's like as if they're like this one big circle protecting me. She's trying to do something different from like flowers because um, the other ones are thin, more like pinks and greens, greens and greys. This one's yellow, yellow, orange, green. I love it because it's used different shades. Like the blue looks like as if it's the sky. The red looks like as if it's autumn. The green looks like as if it's spring. It's like as if they're representing different seasons. Now that I've seen her pictures and paintings, like it makes me feel like no matter how you've done it, and that like, you can all oh, you can go with the flow and you can do whatever you want to make it your own way. All right, so I'm first gonna show you just on a scrap piece of paper how this technique works. So the first thing you need to do is you need to have two different crayons. You need to either have two different colors or two of the same color that um, are in different shades, a light one and a dark one, or um, colors that you're going to be mixing together. Okay, so I'm just giving you some grouping here that you can do. Um, it does not have to be the same two colors, but I would practice mixing them before you use them. So the way you do this is you take the darker of the two colors first, you color it lightly on the paper, barely putting any pressure on your crayon, and then you take your lighter one 
and you go ahead and color on top of that dark but really hard you're gonna press really hard on it this mixes together those two colors and makes a different color and it also gives you some value and some shading in there so this works really well with colored pencils this works really well with um, oil pastels or crepe pods if you have them you can do this same technique with all of those things it's not going to be so easy to do with markers so if you have any of those other types of um, coloring materials then you can use them I'm going to show you how some different colors mixed together look like some black and green and yellow and orange and blue and purple here's two different um, colors of red on top of a darker red okay I'm gonna apply this technique throughout my whole entire drawing um, you do not have to do it this way this is going to give you a way um, more realistic looking flower if you do it this way but you can just color this in however you feel fit this is your artwork of course but I do want you to make sure that you're coloring it in based on your picture so I've got my picture here on my phone and I'm going to start in the middle adding a light um, piece of black so I'm not really pressing too hard and then I'm going to go on top of it with a bunch of different colors like browns and oranges like I see in that picture to get that texture I'm going to need to move my crayon up and down almost like um, um, polka dotting on top to kind of get a that texture that's in the middle of the sunflower I'm going to be using lots of different colors one on top of the other light darker first lighter on top pressing hard that same technique and I'm going to come back to this after I've added some of the petals. Now I'm going to go for that darker area that's kind of around this part. That's kind of around there, the darker orangey brown color. So now I'm going to take my, my brown crayon, because it's going to be the darker of the many colors I'm going to use here, and I'm going to lightly go through and up into the petals. Um, each petal will get one of these. The darker the brown and the, the orange, you're going to need to add in the ones that are overlapping each other. So the ones that are shadowing each other, those are the ones that you're going to put a little bit darker. However it looks in your picture is how I want you to draw it. Once you've added kind of the shadows and all the creases and the darker layers on your petals, you're going to take, I have two yellows. I have a darker yellow and a, a lighter yellow. So this darker yellow I'm going to use first, and I'm going to kind of go on top of that. I'm pressing kind of medium. I'm not filling in the whole area. I'm leaving some space for my lighter yellow. And then I'm going to come back in with the lighter yellow, and I'm going to press really hard. So this darker yellow is going to be light and I'm going to put the lighter yellow on top and I'm going to press really hard. And now I'm going to use um, the dark green, the light green, and some black to make those leaves that are on the bottom there. The leaf on the left is a little way darker than the leaf that's on the right. Um, so this leaf I'm going to use some black to get those shadows in. So underneath where the petals are, that's where I'm going to lightly put some black. So that this way it kind of makes the green look a little bit darker. Then once I've got that down, I'm going to go back in with my green crayon, I'm going to press really hard, I'm going to mix that black into the green. And then for that smaller leaf, it's going to be the same idea except it's going to be switched. The lighter green is going to go on top of this darker green to kind of make it so that um, you can see a difference in the color there. You see how it is zoomed in, the lighter green and the darker green? So the darker green is going to go first underneath the petals to show the shadow and then I'm going to go and press hard on top with the lighter green. All right, last but not least, we have the sky. Yes, you have to color in the sky or whatever is around it. So if you took a picture and you zoomed in and it's green all around your flower, then that's what your background color should be. Don't make it up. It's whatever you had seen and whatever you did to crop in your picture. I'm going to use three different blues um, for the sky here because it does get a little bit lighter down towards the bottom. These 
These were all really drawn so beautifully, so I cannot wait to see how you color them in. Don't forget to take a picture and upload it to this assignment on Google Classroom. Have a great week!